What is up coders and welcome back to another quick video. Today we're going to show you a little bit of next gen Mass Effect Andromeda. The reason for this uh, video specifically is just because uh, while I didn't give this game a fair shake the first time and probably uh, for good reason, I think it's always fun to revisit some of these older games to see maybe if some new life can be breathed into them when they perform a little better and they look a little better. Uh, so this has not been upgraded yet for the Series X. However, Ever, uh, because it ran I'm pretty sure on a dynamic resolution uh, as well as at 4k on Xbox one X that patch or at least close to it you're gonna be seeing a very crisp image uh, one that probably sticks very close to a 4k if not exactly at 4k and unfortunately still locked to 30 FPS but with all of its effects and stuff like that this game ends up looking really good uh, luckily I was able to pull up a save that's a little bit into the into the game uh, so you're gonna be able to see a little bit further uh, like worlds a little bit more open areas than what we might have been able to see had I started from the beginning So we're gonna just kind of run around and, and see what's all up. Um, I have not played this in forever So uh, bear with me if uh, it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. It's because I actually don't so let's just go check out this world Right off the bat, you can see, though, um, they got tessellation going on. They have some really nice texture work. Just overall, a really crisp image. Now, I do have all the settings set for the uh, post effects. Uh, but overall, this little area is uh, very attractive. Um, even though I don't know at all what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, that's how I switch between weapons. I couldn't remember. Shield capacitors, incendiary ammo. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay there station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. Let's check this out. Maybe we can hunt that signal down. Maybe we can get some action going. This analysis provides us with important... Scan complete. That door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock No it fucking way, it's locked. Building. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Hey, what's over here? Let's check this out. Again, looks really good. Overall. Does this automatically just do it? I'm confused. No relevant data. Okay, sounds good. The lighting in this game was always really impressive. And that's, I think, because is I'm pretty sure this is using the same uh, graphics engine uh, as uh, Battlefront 2, uh, the DICE uh, engine. And I don't remember what it's called. I think Snowdrop, maybe. I might be wrong. I think that's Ubisoft, actually. Ubisoft is Snowdrop. I don't know what the, this one's using. Site 1, promise. So it looks like we have a marker. Let's go ahead and check that out. Actually, can we get in here? Pathfinder, that door is locked until power okay, is fuck restored. off with these there locked doors. No unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. See, I do like the movement mechanics. This is kind of cool. It's very different than uh. Door is getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site one issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes wow. and sets. Wow, look at those lighting. Control. This lighting. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. I feel like there's a door over here that I gotta check out now. Oh, this one's open. We got uh, some. Is that dynamic? Is that is that a is that casting shadows? It's hard to tell. I don't think so. Still looks very good. Got a code. Code lock key. We suffered our first That should help get us today. in. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Oh, I guess it is dynamic. It's just soft, away. and it's kind of oh, that's pretty impressive. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Okay, so now we can go back to that other code area. So this is cool, actually. This is actually casting shadows, but they're just very soft, diffuse shadows, which is almost more impressive in some ways. So I like that a lot. Um, but as you can see, like this game looks really good on Series X. It runs very, very well. Hopefully, we can get some. Like I said, some some action here. I'm curious, is this water? Oh, this. Oh, those. Oh man. Yeah, we, we we gave uh. We gave this game too much crap, especially visually. Like we complained about it. Everybody complained about its animation, which you know to an extent wasn't great, but it wasn't the worst that you've ever seen. 
main door had power, but not the interior. Doors. Bio disinfectant. Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Let's go check out these logs then. Log it up. Yeah, so the dynamic shadows are definitely at a very low resolution here. I'm not reading all that anyway. Let's push into here this room. If we can get this station up and running so that we can uh, find out what's going on. I got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Nearby power relay tower. Okay, sounds great. Let's check out this relay tower. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with uh, this this on Series X. However, I would have loved, I would love to see EA um, just just put out some unlock frame rate patches. I don't think they need to do a whole lot visually. Maybe upgrade the shadow maps and stuff like that on some of the dynamic uh, lightings. But like, honestly, like, look how crisp this looks. It's really good. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter, that would not be advised. Okay. Let's get up this hill. Like the tessellation looks really good. The environment detail looks really good. Just overall, I'm 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 pretty impressed visually with what this looks like. We have to get up there. Go like right here. I'm not sure that's what they wanted me to do, but I'm gonna do it. Got some cutscene action. That ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here. We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Mm, the faces are okay. By... This is Wait, an area where Ryder? EA could really sink some more time into. The Nexus just can't let EOS go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help EOS. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. <laughs> You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Is it smarter to hide and hope, or take a chance that might save this whole planet? I remember when people used to talk like that. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger? It's, it's on, on you. you. Uh, yeah, let's get some action going. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Come on. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. We'll activate this. The generator is active. Let's run. Sam, our friend Clancy. Was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Mm -hmm. Part-time salvager, full-time asshole. We've got company. Good. Let's go, bitches. Where are they? Uh-oh. Oh, they landed right there. Okay, let's do this. Got this action going on. Still, still running smooth as all hell. Chosen are here. I don't remember any of this shit, but my health is not happy. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. Okay, so your health comes back after your shield comes back. You took down it looks pretty tech. good, man. Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever yeah. you like. Why was there a, a male model We're hanging device, out here? Though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need <clears> a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these wheels. All right. need wheels. <laughs> I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. 
Might be easier for a pathfinder though. Yeah, handsome boy. I'll give Keep you this a up. Ride. Maybe next time we'll find Mister? more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Oh, he does. I have a hundred credits. Compare. It's more at a slower rate of fire. Let's get that too. Okay, how do I make this happen? Yeah, confirm trade. Perfect. I guess crazy blue. Hmm. Let's see, now we can go to inventory. Ooh. How do I, uh... Can I not? I remember the Matlock. I liked that gun. How do I? What? Just upgrading random things. We'll go assault rifles too. I don't have enough. Okay. Question. Where do I go to uh, equip my gun? What the fudge? Maybe that's what I have to do? No way. Is it what what? I don't understand that. Is this just not where I can do it? Whatever. I give up. I give up. We're probably fine anyway. We'll play a little bit longer and see what this... Oh my god, it's up there. Oh, he's he's hopping around. You heard about the ride. <laughs> Let's check this out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can't miss a container. This reminds me of Mass Effect 1 a lot, just like the collection of everything. But I also, it's been a while. And we found our first bug. Correct. Okay, here Plus we go. I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. So this game is still broken. Interesting. Just beyond site so keep that in mind when you're playing it through it on any console. It's identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. The Damn animation has definitely gotten a lot better since the beginning. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. You better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Okay. Ooh. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Yep, okay, let's go check out the nearby buildings, like it said real quick. And we'll probably wrap this up. This is going pretty smooth. I'm impressed with how it looks. I also think that it could look a lot better. I think they could upgrade this pretty substantially. And if I remember correctly, on PC, it looks a lot better than this even. Um, and that's just because of, this is the Xbox One X code. Something inside there. 
I don't know if I can get in this thing, so I'm just gonna... Here we go. Special requisition. All-terrain scout rover. Here we go. A nomad. Six-wheel drive. Nomad! Just, just what you need. I might be tooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Of course it does. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Okay. Wait, what do I do right here? Okay, okay. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Oh, I just had to come, come to it. Oh, look at the text resolution Looks like not the being very supplies close. Are intact. Oh, here we go, and now I can swap out my guns. Interesting. Cool. I like it. Okay, now let's get back. Runny run run till I can't get my tummy tum tum. Keypad opened. Now let's see what's inside this lovely container. Oh, baby. See, this will be a really good test of what we got going on in the Xbox Series X version and how well it runs. It does look like still texture popping is an issue, and I'm just a little surprised by this. And I think mostly this is just poor code. Let's go. Oh, look at the, the driving, baby. Let's enter the vehicle. No man should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Oh, that's how you get out right there. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. So does this... Radiation within safe levels. Where do I go? See what's up here. Can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Got it. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. See if we can get there. This is pretty cool looking. I like the Nomad, pretty dope. And here we are at this other uh, location. Let's check this out. Initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it, up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols, glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Search for a glyph symbol to... No, 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 no glyph symbol. Oh, what did I just see? There's, uh, it's up top there. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get up on top of this thing somehow. Oh, maybe from the other side over there. Oh, I see. I see where we can jump up. Right over here.
And here we go. It's slippery, but there's a great view. Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment? That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Let's activate this alien device and see what's about to happen. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this. Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. She's a smiley girl. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Liara! No, I'm just kidding. Back off, or I will push you down. Oh, she looks great. Whoa, easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. I kind of like it. Right. I'm not going to push her off. Trust Why would I do okay? that? I know. I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but... You're I'm so real. for real. Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. She's a very I happy just be person. The solution to all your problems. I think all these characters are a little too happy. Wow. Look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh crap. And we got bad guys. Think. Okay. Oh. Got him. That was very easy. <laughs> it's still early on in the game, though. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PD. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Poof, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Genius. Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too... You can see the lighting model is really impressive uh, in, this first, in this game. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Okay. Well, coders, thank you so much for tuning into uh, today's quick video on the Xbox Series X uh, running Mass Effect Andromeda. Not necessarily the best game in the series. Definitely not, in fact. Uh, but but it's been worth checking out, and I think it's a really worthwhile place to play it. If you're going to play it anywhere, the Series X version might just have to be the one that you try out. That hurt. Do not go out in the radiation. Uh, well, thank you so much for tuning in, uh, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell uh, for the notifications so you don't miss any other coverage of our Xbox Series X or PS5 coverage and any other uh, gaming content that you might want to see. You can leave that in the comments below. Uh, we really appreciate it. Appreciate you, and as always, stay classy, coders.